Location. Locate the terminal, power pack, and power cord in the welcome kit. Connect the power pack to the underside of the terminal, as illustrated in Figure 2 of the enclosed connection diagram. Then connect the female end of the power cord to the power pack, and the male end into a wall outlet or surge protector. Next, take the phone cord out of the box and connect one end into the phone port on the underside of the terminal as indicated in Figure 3 on the included connection diagram. Connect the other end to an available phone jack near to where you would like the terminal to be located. The terminal operates best on a dedicated single analog line, the type of line installed in most homes and businesses. If your business uses multi-line phones, rollover lines, or digital phone lines, check with your phone system administrator to see if any special considerations or equipment will be necessary. Some phone systems may require a special access code for outbound calls to be placed. If this is the case, please call our customer service department for assistance. As it powers up, the terminal will perform a self-test. It will then display the current time, date, and your main menu. The terminal is preloaded with a complimentary roll of paper and is now ready for use. Transaction Instructions the most common transaction type performed is a sale. There are actually two types of sales, electronic or swiped sales performed in a face-to-face -face transaction and manually keyed mail or telephone order, or MOTO, sales performed when the card is not present or when the magnetic stripe is unreadable.